Well, there's been full-fledged politics now, which is raging over the mutilation of our soldiers by Pakistan. Former Defence Minister A.K. Anthony has slammed the centre. He has actually compared the tenure of UPA versus the Modi government tenure, saying that there was only one such attack during UPA, but three during the Modi government. During our time, only once this kind of incident. Hmm. Now it is three times. More than anything, it just affected the prestige, respect and morale of the Indian Army. So, in one sentence, my only request to the government is give freedom to the Army to take appropriate action at the appropriate time. Kamaljit Sandhu joins me live uh, from Vijay Chowk on this. You know, Kamal, just share numbers, you know, with what you're picking up. What has been the kind of numbers that we're talking about where our soldiers have lost their lives, where the UPA tenure is concerned and the Modi government now? Well, yes, uh, the incident of Hemraj took place just before the 2014 elections where Narendra Modi at that point of time, the prime minister candidate of BJP had vowed to take revenge. Uh, then thereafter, we've seen uh, whether it's in October and now again, uh, there has been a fresh provocation from Pakistan. Uh, but the number of incidents of attack have right. actually gone up. Uh, the fact is that in the Ministry of Home Affairs and even the MOD okay. in You know, in, come in and stay with me. You know, the reason I'm just coming in and I'm afraid, uh, just stay with me. Maybe, uh, have Sambit Patra of the BJP on the phone line with us. Sambit, very quickly there, it's interesting, you know, at one end, there shouldn't be any politics where it comes down to our martyrs. But if you look at sheer numbers, the numbers do side with the, you know, with the UPA. There is some truth in what Mr. Anthony is saying. It's a very sorry state of affairs. The bodies of the martyrs have not even been cremated and the cribbling by the political parties in this country. This is absolutely wrong. The way the Congress party, in fact, held a press conference today, and now we have the former defense minister, in fact, comparing numbers into the two dispensations. This is not the way that the politicians and that two senior politicians should behave. Today is the time when we all should stand together and at least in one voice condemn what Pakistan has done, whatever barbaric, uh, dastardly move has been taken by Pakistan. And secondly, when we did the surgical strike after the Uri attack, it was the very Congress party and their own leaders who were in fact demanding evidences then. So when you attack, when a strong uh, avenge is taken, then the party asks for evidence. And today, when in fact only yesterday we had seen the mutilation of the body, the army has been given a free hand, and none other than the defense minister of the country has reassured the country that uh, we all have complete faith on the ability of Indian army, and the Indian army would avenge the mutilation of the bodies of its uh, jawans. So naturally, we should have faith in the Indian army, and such kind of politicization should stop. All right, you know, Sambit, I totally agree with you. And I think nobody wouldn't agree with you that at this point of time, there needs to be no politics, especially when it comes down to our men who have laid their lives for the country, our martyrs there. But having said that, do you think maybe the timing is all completely wrong and it is engineered with politics in mind? But do you reckon that maybe in time, this is something that needs to be discussed, the numbers that we are losing? No, definitely. In fact, uh, as far as why are Jawans having martyrs and the kind of uh, activity that Pakistan is indulging in, these are issues of grave concern and the uh, Indian government is seized of the whole affair. Not only that, the defense minister came out and said that the army would take an action. The army came out with a statement saying that uh, the avenging would be from a place of our time, uh, the time would be ours, and the way we act, the strategy would be ours. So naturally, we should not feel that the army would not be acting against this dastardly move of Pakistan. The army would be acting, and in fact, we know since uh, yesterday, the army, the Indian army, in fact, has blown up many of those Pakistani posts which are providing cover fire for these ter terrorists to infiltrate into India. So naturally, the army is in move. Let's wait and let's have some patience. The government will take the most punitive action as far as Pakistan is concerned. All right, you know, Sambit, stay on with me. Let me bring in Sanjay Jha from the Congress. He's on the phone line with us as well. You know, Sanjay, the timing couldn't be worse when we are talking about our martyrs and the statements such as this by the former defense minister. Let's say, but, you know, the timing aside, do you reckon that maybe this issue needs to be discussed? The numbers were far less when the UPA was there, and it's a fact. Well, you know, can I, can I make a short point here? 
I think uh, number one, uh, Mr. Anthony has, has got a very strong track record as a defense minister. He's a very experienced leader. And, you know, in fact, there cannot be a more appropriate time to discuss issues in terms of how we can resolve them better and the in, in the interest of the country. I mean, we are today facing an extremely hostile neighbor. Uh, you know, the, the, the very ugly incident that has happened is a manifestation of the kind of uh, terror that Pakistan unleashes on India regularly. Now, as a responsible leader, it is our task to actually sound out the government who doesn't really talk to us and doesn't take our feedback and opinion very uh, very often or as seriously. But it's our job to convey to them what our experience tells us. And I think he's spoken, frankly, in a very dispassionate and an extremely mature political manner to convey a message to Mr. Modi's government that you probably need to give a more freer hand. If they have given a freer hand, maybe more. If they have kept them a little tight, maybe they should definitely loosen them so that they are able to take the appropriate cause on their own. I think this is an extremely mature and a constructive okay. uh, and, and a very, uh, what I call as a suggestion right. that ought to be appreciated. All right, Sanjay, stay with us. Sambath, if you can, uh, you know, if you, if you heard what uh, Sanjay said there, he's saying that, you know, nobody is disrespecting our martyrs, that aside, but this is a relevant point which has been put across in a matured fashion by the former defense minister. No, I would say you're not questioning the right of the Congress party or any of the opposition parties from criticizing the government. It's a democracy at the end of the day, they can criticize the government in a constructive way. But this is something called as an aggression from a neighbor, uh, which is a terrorist sponsoring state. Under such a situation, when the aggression has just taken place yesterday, rather than going into body counts and rather than asking questions like chappan inch kaha hai, because that's what exactly said by Surjay Walaji and Kapil Sipal, such kind of rhetoric should not be made. If they have any kind of suggestion, well, yes, they've always said you are welcome to give any kind of suggestion. But outwardly, coming the statements of what the Congress leaders have been saying, it doesn't seem that they want to make any suggestion. They want to criticize for the heck of criticism. And secondly, I asked a question, after the surgical strike last September, it was a very Congress party which were asking for evidence and phrases like Khun Ki Dalali was used. So do if, I mean, you, you are damned if you do, you are damned if you do not. That means if you attack and if you uh, take a befitting, uh, give a befitting punishment to Pakistan, then the evidence is asked. And if it takes some time to take the punishment, then it is asked, what are you doing? So you, when you declare what you have done, you are questioned. If you don't declare what has been done, you are questioned. Sanjay? Well, you know, I want to. I don't want to get into a slugfest with Sambit. Uh, this is a sensitive issue. Yes. I don't think both of either of us should try and score, you know, brownie point points on behalf of our party. What we need to understand and appreciate, however, is that the BJP and the Congress, while both have been at the centre for considerable periods of time, they have a different approach to a common problem. Now, what are we saying? We are saying that you don't have a very what I call is a very credible policy of uh, handling of Pakistan. I mean, there have been so many U-turns and flip-flops that the message that has gone out to the outer world, particularly to Pakistan, has been that India doesn't okay. have any coherent approach to handling Do you reckon, the Sanjay, the timing could have been better? You got the timing all wrong? No, I don't think so. And let me, let me tell you, we keep talking about timing. This is the time for us to actually talk about it. I mean, you know, we can't be sitting on some kind of ceremony here. I mean, we have a problem. It's a gigantuan problem. And today, okay. Mr. Anthony makes a statement of support to the government saying you should probably give All right, Sambit, one, your hand. Sambit, very How quickly you... there, why not now? You have your men dying on the border, why not now? What's a better timing to address this? No, I believe these are issues. The issues of internal security, the issues of external security are to be best uh, left to the army. And the defense minister has categorically stated that yesterday that we have complete confidence in the army and the army will take a decision to this regard. If you have any suggestion, then well, yes, as the opposition party, you can make suggestions. We have no problems with that. But remember, I always remind you, despite the fact that last time after surgical strike, it was the GMO of the army who had conducted the press conference, yet questions were asked were asked by the political parties, particularly the Congress party. So naturally, time and again, okay. after such scenario, we have this question in the mind. Why politicize on the eve of martyrdom? Why not please wait for a while, come up with constructive suggestions? All right. And there are different platforms and forums on which you can do that. All right. I appreciate you joining us, gentlemen. We're going to keep tracking the story very closely.